Hey everyone, so I'm doing a what's in my purse video and that may seem kind of late because these videos were like really popular back I guess the summer on YouTube and like everyone had one they were kind of like the hot video to do um, but I think they're actually really fun to watch so I have one but I'm going to delete it um, because I wanted to do an updated one I still have the same purse that I had back in my old video of my what's in my purse video but also I'm doing a giveaway at the end of this, so stay tuned for the giveaway, and here I go. Okay, so I have the same bag, like I have already mentioned, and let me just buckle it. Okay, so this is what it looks like, and it's pink leather, it's pretty big, it has like gold accents, it's double handled, and yeah, so that's what it looks like. It's really the first expensive purse I've had, I suppose, and... It's my all-time favorite. I like don't even want a new one. It's just my favorite and I absolutely love it. So to get started, now I'm warning you, I might have like some weird stuff in here because I, I don't know, I just always have like odd stuff in here. Okay, so the first thing I have in here, oh, a digital camera. Yeah, so this is my digital camera and I'll take a picture of me filming. I guess that's just because I always want to have, be able to take pictures of people. Um, I also have a toothbrush and toothpaste. Is that kind of weird? I think that's kind of weird. I always get into these weird habits because of my mom. My mom always has toothpaste and tooth a toothbrush in her purse. And so I kind of have that too. I don't know. That's kind of odd, but it's good. So a uh, bottle of water, like a mini like kid one. Um, hair clip to like clip up my hair. I don't really know why I need to clip up my hair when I'm taking a purse though. So I don't know why that's in there. Oh, okay. Red nail polish. Um, This is pretty self-explanatory. I always have red nail polish on. I don't know if you guys noticed or not, but yeah, I always wear a red nail polish. So I kind of always have it in my purse just because I like to touch it up and paint my nails. So if there is ever a nail polish company and if I ever get the chance to name a nail polish, which I'm sure probably won't happen, but if I do, I'm naming it Megan Hearts Red because I always have red nails and that's just like my thing. So what else is in here? Okay, my makeup bag, which I can go through. And this is, I really love this print. It's kind of, it's not like, it's kind of Victorian, I suppose. And this was actually a bag that came with a little set of a bigger bag and then another smaller bag, uh, which was going to be in my online store. And I'm not sure if we're still doing an online store or not. We were about to, but then like school started and everything kind of got hectic. So if we do, I'll let you guys know, but you could purchase those there. And I think they're pretty cute. And this is just what I keep my makeup in when I bring my purse. Okay, first thing I have in here is Max Tinted Lip Conditioner. And petting pink. I absolutely love this. You can see the huge dent I've made in it. I wear this every single day. It makes my lips so soft and it smells really, really nice. I also have the Mega Plump and this one is in 585, which is a really baby pink. I love these too. These are by Wet n Wild, which is just a drugstore brand. Real cheap, but they're actually my favorite and they smell like cinnamon. I have the Dior Show Mascara. One of my favorite mascaras. Um, a lip glow, which is a convertible lip balm, and this is by Dior. And what it does is it kind of changes color depending depending on like you, I suppose. I don't know. It's something like that. And so it comes out real light. And then if you just watch it, so I, it'll show up a little pinker. You can kind of see it right there. Well, I don't know. On my lips, it turns out really like this kind of berry color. It comes out real dark. So. I don't know. Have my Mac Mineralized Skin Finish. I don't really know why that's in my purse. What else? Oh, the Guerlain Bronzer. I think I have that just for the mirror. And the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. And I have a problem with my eyebrows. They don't look like too horrible on camera, but I have never been able to have like those nice perfect looking eyebrows and so if you are really good with your eyebrows or you have like really good eyebrow tips please tell me because I've been so afraid to go get them like professionally waxed or professionally like threaded or whatever because I'm afraid that they're just gonna like take all my eyebrows off and I really don't want to have to like draw on my eyebrows or anything so I don't do anything to them I don't pencil them in or anything I just put some brow gel on them and I tweeze them so 
Give me some tips if you have really, really nice eyebrows. Okay, what else is in here? Another red nail polish. Oh, this is so cute. Okay, this is Dear John, and this is the Nicholas Sparks book. My mom just bought this for me, but um, it's coming out with a movie that I really want to see, and we're going to Dallas tomorrow, so I thought I would read this in the car, which I probably won't because I get car sick when I read in the car, so I'm probably not even going to read that. I don't really know why I brought it. I have my DKNY Be Delicious Roll On, which is just my perfume in a roll-on form, so I can just kind of roll it on. This smells so amazing. I was watching the cutest little girl earlier. Um, I was watching one of her Christmas haul videos. I forgot what her name was. And she got the DKNY perfume for Christmas. And she mentioned me and she was like, my heart's makeup make up raves about this. And she's like, I love it. It was so adorable. I left her a comment on that video. It was super cute. Um, nail polish remover because I paint my nails in like the weirdest places. So I have to have nail polish remover. Oh, my phone. Just have the Blackberry. I believe it's the 8900 or the bold, I don't know, the newest one, whatever. Um, hairbrush. Oh, this is really cute. Okay, so I'm going to cover up my last name. But... Okay, so it says Megan on it, and it's just this stationery that a girl on my cheer team, her mother made this for me for Christmas. And I guess I have this because I feel the need to always make like little lists of things, like lists of what I'm going to do, even though I don't really follow them. But I don't know. I just like having paper, I guess. Um, wallet, oh, wallet, isn't that pretty? It's like cheetah print and it's really like soft. I really want to get a coach wallet. Um, I should have asked for one for Christmas, but I blanked my mind. And just... Okay, two packets of Altoids, which I don't even like these things. I think they're disgusting. And the reason I have this is because I went to Walgreens last night, so Christmas Eve, and, or two nights ago, yeah, Christmas Eve, because... Why did we even go there? We went to get something for like a stocking stuffer and like we needed like last minute candy to put in the stockings. And these were just sitting like on the counter. Like if she's ringing up the counter, these were like sitting right there. And they, I, you know, I told the lady, I was like, okay, those aren't mine. And she's like, okay. And she was ringing all the stuff up. And then I get home and I end up with two packets of Altoids that I didn't even want. So yeah, I ended up buying these without even knowing it because she rung them up because they were sitting right there. So, yeah. They're really gross. I asked my dad if he wanted them, and he didn't. So, I don't know what I'm going to do with those. Um, oh, yeah. I have two new foundations in here because, again, my mom wanted me to pick her one up when I went to get the candy. And, yeah. These actually were purchased on purpose, not like the Altoids. And she only will wear drugstore foundation. And I told her that my NARS one is the best, but she still wears drugstore foundation. So I got her the Maybelline Mineral Power and the Maybelline Dream Liquid Mousse. I don't know. I don't know. That's everything that's in my purse. Kind of boring, kind of weird, but thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed. Okay, so they sent me these bags and what they are is they're all Save the Planet style, Save the Planet in style. And so they're all these purses which are made out of recycled seatbelts. And this one is like kind of like a big beach bag style. And then they sent me this little pink one. Super cute. And these are all seat belts. And then they sent me this little backpack type thing. Really cute. This red one, which is probably my sister's favorite. Kind of more messenger style bag. And then this pink and brown one, which is just kind of the classic style purse. Obviously, what am I going to do with five new seatbelt bags? Well, I'm going to give away four of them to you guys as a giveaway. Um, I'm going to keep the big beach style one because that's my favorite one. So to enter this, all you have to do is in the comments, write me one weird thing that you have in your purse because obviously as you just saw, I have kind of odd stuff in my purse. And then I will randomly pick the winner using random.org and go check out the Maggie Bag website so you guys can go check out the other bags if you don't have